Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got another exciting battery test, teardown and review for you today, this time from EnjoyBot. It is their Group 31 size format, 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery, 100 amp hours of course, and it is low temp protected supposedly. So I'm gonna find out if that's accurate today, put it through all its paces and see what this EnjoyBot's made of. So let's get right into it. And I don't know if you noticed at the beginning right there, you can see this uh, this crack right here on the side of the case. This battery has already passed its drop test. And no, I did not drop test it. Yes, that's something I would do, but no, I did not do that to this battery. The shipper somehow managed to go through two inches of foam that this battery was encased in in a cardboard box with copper staples down the side. They destroyed the box. This battery was laid out in the driveway on its side out of the box. So thank you, uh, shipping company, for cracking this nice battery but anyways it still works i tested it as soon as i saw that so uh seems pretty resilient so far so if your battery came damaged from shipping like this rest assured you know enjoy about remedy the situation for you it happens the so shippers can get rough with these batteries even with all the protective foam you still can get some damage when they the shippers handle it rough so what enjoy about wanted me to do they asked me to go ahead and do a field test uh, on this unit to kind of see what it looks like and video uh, the internal structure of the battery to make sure nothing was jarred loose or was broken uh, from this impact right here. So kind of a random drop test sample, I guess is what you will, but I'm gonna give it the full work over, um, capacity, everything on this battery. And the battery also comes with terminal bolts and protective caps to go on your wires. So you know, nice to see that nice little accessory pack. And I'll give you a list of specifications on a slide, pause it if you want to read them. If not, we'll continue. So I'm going to start the capacity test on it. Let me charge it all the way up and then pull it down and see if it delivers rated capacity. Open off charge on the EnjoyBot with a commercial charger right here. Let this finish topping off, then I'll begin the capacity pull. All right, got the EnjoyBot on the capacity test rig now. Nothing's been turned on yet, so I will turn on the breaker. I pre-zeroed the energy meter. You can see the enjoy bot is at 14.43 volts. So it is full, really full. I'll go ahead and turn the inverter on. Go ahead and put a tiny load to it. Five watts idle draw on the alpha inverter. It's now time to connect the load. And I'm charging a portable power station, uh, be about 380 to 400 watts on the AC side. So I'll let everything settle in over here and I'll get you a uh, current draw. All right, so we've settled in around 34.75 amps, give or take a smidge, 447.7 watts out of the battery. So let it pull for a little while and see how much capacity we got of the EnjoyBot. Little past the halfway mark on the EnjoyBot pull down, still at Roughly 12.8 volts coming out of the battery under the 36 amp load, 463 watts being drawn out of the battery. So I'll keep on pulling. About to roll, there it went. 1280 on the EnjoyBot Group 31 battery. So still at 12 volts under almost 40 amp load now. So 482 watts pulling out of the battery. So I'll see how much more it's got in it. So the voltage is starting to plummet off on the EnjoyBot. So it should be wrapping up. And we're fixing to cut off here in just a minute. The inverter should shut off on low voltage disconnect any moment now. So I'll keep filming until we completely drop out and see what our tally is. There we go. The inverter just shut off. 1,331 watt hours out of the EnjoyBot battery. That's pretty impressive. So now time for the teardown portion for the EnjoyBot Group 31 battery. Check out that low temp protection, see if it actually functions at a reasonable temperature. Also see if there's any damage sustained from inside the battery from this impact. Make sure everything's still intact. So, and there's your last look at it in one piece and I'm gonna crack it open. All right, it is party time. Got almost cracked all the way open. As always, save the last little bit of glue and sealant. All right, all the way loose now. Check it out. First off, check the terminals for tightness. Extremely tight right there. And then let's take our positive leads. Check them out right here. Two eight gauge wires, 200 degrees silicon jacketed. And the 
negative also is two number eight silicone jacketed hydraulic connections and it appears we have a spray painted lid so you can see the you know the plastic is black it's not dyed it is spray paint jobs you can see right there on the side you can see the the spray which that's okay let's see if it's durable paint durability test number one more durable than others I've seen, for sure. That one will take take light scratching and not remove your paint. You really gotta you really gotta dig into it to get it to uh, to have the paint come off. So that's acceptable. And while we look through the battery, I made a note right here on the shrink wrap for the cell pack right here. That's the side that took the hit right here. So that side of the battery was the impact side right there. And just show you all the foam around the cell pack. So we got high density foam all over the cell pack to protect it. So, uh, you know, from that impact, you know, the actual cell pack itself did not contact the side. And we have adhesive, silicone based adhesive that was holding the whole assembly down into the bottom of the case there. And you can see on the impact side, I do not know if this uh, heat shrink around the pack was torn from that impact, but it looks like that where it took the hit, the side of this fiber board here uh, may have caused this little small tear right here, but make sure nothing is damaged behind this. Just wanna make note on the fiber board right here. You can see where this thing was handled rough in shipping. Look at the, uh, the penetrations here through the fiber board where the, the terminals actually got slammed up against the side. So, so this battery's still working. It's pretty impressive. I mean, it took a, took a serious hit in shipping. Remember, this is the side that took the impact. Look at that. It hit so hard that it broke the corner guards for the compression on these sails. That's how hard of a hit this battery took. There's that corner support again right there for the compression. I mean, look at that, it cracked it all the way down. It hit so hard. Wow. Trying to get you some shots of right here. The compression's still tied on it. None of the, the bus bars are shipped or nothing like that. None of the reliefs are open or anything weird. Uh, seems to have held up to that. I guess best it could. BMS is on the opposite side, so it didn't take a slam right on the BMS, which that's good. Corner this cell over here to make sure. No, it may be mashed in just a smidge. Yeah, the cell got smashed a little bit right there. Oh, well, let me try to, let me get you a little better view right there. You can see where the, see where the cell took that hit right there. Look, it's kind of wrinkled the corner of the cell. So that's how hard of a hit this battery took. Deformation on the cell where it hits so hard. So, uh, you know, surprising that it still works as good as it does. Like I said, this one is probably probably not my long-term battery, but for, for testing it to show you the functions, I'm going to continue on. And here's the BMS on Enjoy Bot right here. Uh, if you know that model number right there, you know that is a JBD BMS. It's a 100 amp BMS. We've got a negative temperature coefficient sensor right here. There's our balance leads. All the connections are super tight on this one. Nothing nothing coming loose, no matter how hard I push on them. So everything is good there. Yeah, I don't see any, any issues on this side of the battery. I'm moving around from the BMS to the terminal side of the battery right here. As you can see, everything, cable management is good. We've got wire loom on all the balance leads right there. NTC sensor comes through the same loom right here and is glued down to the top of the cell right here for our temperature sensing. I do see a residue on top of the cell, so this may have been some test labels uh, for cell matching or something like that. Nice welds for the connections right here. I don't see any issues with that. And they actually like they put a mark on each one with a magic marker to show that they've looked at it at some point all the connections here are super tight. Don't see anything loose there. And I don't know if you noticed that. Do you see the little mark right there? Yes. Uh, B grade sales clearly stamped on the QR code right there. So um, still delivered capacity, but we do have B grade sales. I do not like to see that at all. Right there, it's supposed to be grade A lithium iron phosphate prismatic cells. Well, we got the prismatic cells, but with the B stamp on them. So, uh, do I fail it? What do you think? 
fail it because it's misadvertised, or do I continue? Well, since some of y'all probably already have this battery, I'm going to continue with testing. I'll test the safeties on it and see what, uh, you know, make sure they work at least. So check the safeties on this BMS. Going to do high temp first. There's the NTC sensor right there. I'm going to hit it with some heat. And if it's accurate, it will shut the charging off right there. So let's hit it with some heat and see what happens. All right, high temp protection works. Cool it down for you. Initiate charging again. There we go. High temp works. So I'm gonna test EnjoyBot for low temp charge protection because I'm charging right there. So I'm going to put the probe down in my colder than ice ice pack and see if it triggers low temp charge protection. That's been one minute. I'm repositioning the sensor just to make sure I have complete contact with this ice pack. All right, it actually worked. One minute delay on the low temp charge protection. That's good. That's good to see that it triggered with just a regular ice pack. Now I'm back to charging. Nice. All right, so new test on these batteries due to things I found on other batteries. Uh, summation of the cells right here. What do we have at the actual pack? 13.28 volts. And now the output on the BMS. What do we have? 13.28 volts. Nice. I want to check each one of these cells for balance. Remember this pack was pulled down for the capacity run. It's been partially charged back up. It's not been brought to a high voltage, high cell voltage or anything like that. I've not recharged it since the pull down. So let's check each cell for balance. 3.313, 3.314, 3.318, 3.318, 3.319, 3.320, 3.321, 3.322, 3.323, 3.324, 3.325, 3.326, 3.327, 3.328, 3.329, 3.330, 3.331, 3.332, 3.333, 3.334, 3.335, 3.336, 3.337, 3.338, 3.339, 3.440, 3.441, 3.442, 3.443, 3.444, 3.445, 3.446, 3.447, 3.448, 3.449, 3.450, 3.451, 3.452, 3.453, 3.454, 3.455, 3.456, 3.457, 3.458, 3.459, 3.460, 3.471, 3.472, 3.473, 3.474, 3.475, 3.476, 3.478, 3.479, 3.480, 3.481, 3.482, 3.483, 3.484, 3.485, 3.486, 3.487, 3.488, 3.489, 3.490, 3.491, 3.492, 3.493, 3.494, 3.495, 3.496, 3.497, 3.498, 3.499, 3.500, 3.501, 3.502, 3.503, 3.504, 3.505, 3.506, 3.507, 3.508, 3.509, 3.510, 3.511, 3.512, 3.513, 3.514, 3.515, 3.516, 3.517, 3.518, 3.519, 3.520, 3.521, 3.522, 3.523, 3.524, 3.525, 3.526, 3.527, 3.528, 3.529, 3.530, 3.531, 3.532, 3.533, 3.534, 3.535, 3.536, 3.537, 3.538, 3.539, 3.540, 3.541, 3.542, 3.543, 3.544, 3.545, 3.546, 3.547, 3.548, 3.549, 3.550, 3.551, 3.552, 3.553, 3.554, 3.555, 3.566, 3.577, 3.578, 3.579, 3.580, 3.581, 3.582, 3.583, 3.584, 3.585, 3.596, 3.597, 3.508, 3.509, 3.510, 3.511, 3.512, 3.513, 3.514, 3.515, 3.516, 3.517, 3.518, 3.519, 3.520, 3.521, 3.522, 3.523, 3.524, 3.525, 3.526, 3.527, 3.528, 3.529, 3.530, 3.531, 3.532, 3.533, 3.534, 3.535, 3.536, 3.537, 3.538, 3.539, 3.540, 3.541, 3.542, 3.543, 3.544, 3.545, 3.546, 3.547, 3.548, 3.549, 3.550, 3.551, 3.552, 3.553, 3.554, 3.555, 3.566, 3.577, 3.578, 3.579, 3.580, 3.581, 3.582, 3.583, 3.584, 3.585, 3.596, 3.597, 3.598, 3.599, 3.510, 3.511, 3.512, 3.513, 3.514, 3.515, 3.516, 3.517, 3.518, 3.519, 3.520, 3.521, 3.522, 3.523, 3.524, 3.525, 3.526, 3.527, 3.528, 3.529, 3.530, 3.531, 3.532, 3.533, 3.534, 3.535, 3.536, 3.537, 3.538, 3.539, 3.540, 3.541, 3.542, 3.543, 3.544, 3.545, 3.546, 3.547, 3.548, 3.549, 3.550, 3.551, 3.552, 3.553, 3.554, 3.555, 3.556, 3.557, 3.558, 3.559, 3.560, 3.570, 3.571, 3.572, 3.573, 3.574, 3.575, 3.576, 3.577, 3.578, 3.579, 3.580, 3.581, 3.582, 3.583, 3.584, 3.585, 3.596, 3.597, 3.508, 3.509, 3.510, 3.511, 3.512, 3.513, 3.514, 3.515, 3.516, 3.517, 3.518, 3.519, 3.520, 3.521, 3.522, 3.523, 3.524, 3.525, 3.526, 3.527, 3.528, 3.529, 3.530, 3.531, 3.532, 3.533, 3.534, 3.535, 3.536, 3.537, 3.538, 3.539, 3.540, 3.541, 3.542, 3.543, 3.544, 3.545, 3.546, 3.547, 3.548, 3.549, 3.550, 3.551, 3.552, 3.553, 3.554, 3.555, 3.566, 3.577, 3.578, 3.579, 3.580, 3.581, 3.582, 3.583, 3.584, 3.585, 3.596, 3.597, 3.598, 3.510, 3.511, 3.512, 3.513, 3.514, 3.515, 3.516, 3.517, 3.518, 3.519, 3.520, 3.521, 3.522, 3.523, 3.524, 3.525, 3.526, 3.527, 3.528, 3.529, 3.530, 3.531, 3.532, 3.533, 3.534, 3.535, 3.536, 3.537, 3.538, 3.539, 3.540, 3.541, 3.542, 3.543, 3.544, 3.545, 3.546, 3.547, 3.548, 3.549, 3.550, 3.551, 3.552, 3.553, 3.554, 3.555, 3.556, 3.557, 3.558, 3.559, 3.560, 3.570, 3.571, 3.572, 3.573, 3.574, 3.575, 3.576, 3.577, 3.578, 3.579, 3.580, 3.581, 3.582, 3.583, 3.584, 3.585, 3.596, 3.597, 3.508, 3.509, 3.510, 3.511, 3.512, 3.513, 3.514, 3.515, 3.516, 3.517, 3.518, 3.519, 3.520, 3.521, 3.522, 3.523, 3.524, 3.525, 3.526, 3.527, 3.528, 3.529, 3.530, 3.531, 3.532, 3.533, 3.534, 3.535, 3.536, 3.537, 3.538, 3.539, 3.540, 3.541, 3.542, 3.543, 3.544, 3.545, 3.546, 3.547, 3.548, 3.549, 3.550, 3.551, 3.552, 3.553, 3.554, 3.555, 3.566, 3.577, 3.578, 3.579, 3.580, 3.581, 3.582, 3.583, 3.584, 3.585, 3.596, 3.597, 3.598, 3.510, 3.511, 3.512, 3.513, 3.514, 3.515, 3.516, 3.517, 3.518, 3.519, 3.520, 3.521, 3.522, 3.523, 3.524, 3.525, 3.526, 3.527, 3.528, 3.529, 3.530, 3.531, 3.532, 3.533, 3.534, 3.535, 3.536, 3.537, 3.538, 3.539, 3.540, 3.541, 3.542, 3.543, 3.544, 3.545, 3.546, 3.547, 3.548, 3.549, 3.550, 3.551, 3.552, 3.553, 3.554, 3.555, 3.566, 3.577, 3.578, 3.579, 3.580, 3.581, 3.582, 3.583, 3.584, 3.585, 3.596, 3.597, 3.598, 3.510, 3.511, 3.512, 3.513, 3.514, 3.515, 3.516, 3.517, 3.518, 3.519, 3.520, 3.521, 3.522, 3.523, 3.524, 3.525, 3.526, 3.527, 3.528, 3.529, 3.530, 3.531, 3.532, 3.533, 3.534, 3.535, 3.536, 3.537, 3.538, 3.539, 3.540, 3.541, 3.542, 3.543, 3.544, 3.545, 3.546, 3.547, 3.548, 3.549, 3.550, 3.551, 3.552, 3.553, 3.554, 3.555, 3.566, 3.577, 3.578, 3.579, 3.580, 3.581, 3.582, 3.583, 3.584, 3.585, 3.596, 3.597, 3.598, 3.510, 3.511, 3.512, 3.513, 3.514, 3.515, 3.516, 3.517, 3.518, 3.519, 3.520, 3.521, 3.522, 3.523, 3.524, 3.525, 3.526, 3.527, 3.528, 3.529, 3.530, 3.531, 3.532, 3.533, 3.534, 3.535, 3.536, 3.537, 3.538, 3.539, 3.540, 3.541, 3.542, 3.543, 3.544, 3.545, 3.546, 3.547, 3.548, 3.549, 3.550, 3.551, 3.552, 3.553, 3.554, 3.555, 3.566, 3.577, 3.578, 3.579, 3.580, 3.581, 3.582, 3.583, 3.584, 3.585, 3.596, 3.597, 3.508, 3.509, 3.510, 3.511, 3.512, 3.513, 3.514, 3.515, 3.516, 3.517, 3.518, 3.519, 3.520, 3.521, 3.522, 3.523, 3.524, 3.525, 3.526, 3.527, 3.528, 3.529, 3.530, 3.531, 3.532, 3.533, 3.534, 3.535, 3.536, 3.537, 3.538, 3.539, 3.540, 3.541, 3.542, 3.543, 3.544, 3.545, 3.546, 3.547, 3.548, 3.549, 3.550, 3.551, 3.552, 3.553, 3.554, 3.555, 3.556, 3.557, 3.558, 3.559, 3.560, 3.570, 3.571, 3.572, 3.573, 3.574, 3.575, 3.576, 3.577, 3.578, 3.579, 3.578, 